So what I want to do in this video is add an enemy. So in our event sheet at the moment, if we are destroyed and we've got behavior set up, so if we go out the layer, we're automatically destroyed. <clears throat> the layer restarts and we start from the beginning. We're going to make use of this being destroyed for our enemy. So what do we need to do? Well, we're going to insert a new object and we're going to create an enemy. So I'm going to create a new sprite. And this is going to be our enemy. And we're going to click where we want it to be. And then we can create our enemy. So I'm just going to create something very, very simple. So I'm going to get a circle. And let's get some eyes. Just like so. <clears throat> so this is the enemy I want my player to avoid. So... I'm going to put it in my level, just like so. And I'm going to set up something very, very simple to say that if the player is overlapping another object, and that object is the enemy, done. Then what do we want to do? Well, we want to take the player and we want to destroy them. And we know that if the player gets destroyed, then it restarts the layout. So we're using events that we've got already to help us out. So we can run this and I'm going to move very, very slowly up to this enemy. And notice the second I get destroyed. Do you see that? I got destroyed before I actually touched the enemy. So I can jump over the enemy and I get the same problem. So first thing we need to fix is the enemy's hitbox. So you see this blue border around it at the moment. That's its hitbox. It extends much further out than the object does. So we can go to this tool down here. We want to change this hitbox. Now this hitbox doesn't need to be perfect. We're trying to put a circle around and that's not going to really happen in a tool like this. So we just want to create it as close as we can. So all I'm doing is just going around and making almost like a rough hexagon. So just like so. And now we've got a hitbox which is a lot more accurate of our enemy. So now I can get right up to it without being destroyed. And as soon as I go over that, then I'll be destroyed and it'll return me back to the beginning. So that's our enemy in there. It's now set up, so if we touch it, we die. In the next video, we'll look about how we can make this enemy a little bit more exciting for our player.